Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a super handy trick in Figma, how to make a dotted or dashed line. Whether you're designing user interfaces, creating wireframes, or just looking to add a bit of personality to your next project, knowing how to make a dotted line is seriously useful. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set it up, customize it, and make your line stand out with just a few clicks. So let's jump right in. All right, first things first, let's head over to Figma. If you don't already have it open, just fire up your browser or the desktop app and log in. Once you're in your Figma workspace, go ahead and create a new file, or open an existing one where you'd like to experiment with your new dotted lines. Now let's create that line. On the left-hand toolbar, grab the line tool it looks like a diagonal slash or just press the L key on your keyboard. Click anywhere on your canvas and drag your mouse to draw a line. You can make it as short or as long as you like, it's totally up to you and the look you're going for. Remember, lines in Figma are totally flexible, so don't stress if you don't get it perfect on your first try. You can always adjust it later. With your line selected, head over to the right-hand side where you'll find the Properties panel. Here, we want to add a stroke. The stroke is essentially the color and thickness of your line, so without it, your line won't actually show up the way you expect. By default, Figma does add a stroke, but if for some reason it's missing, just click the plus icon under the Stroke section. Pick a color and play around with the weight. The weight is how thick or thin your line appears. For dotted lines, something in the 2 to 4 pixel range usually looks pretty clean, but feel free to experiment. Next up, this is where we start to make things interesting. Right beside the stroke weight value, you'll see a little icon that looks like three sliders stacked on top of each other. That's the stroke settings button. Go ahead and click on that. This will open up some extra options for how your line is styled. In the stroke settings, you'll spot a section for style. It probably says solid by default, but if you click on it, a small drop down menu will appear. Go ahead and select Dashed. This instantly transforms your solid line into a series of dashes, which can easily be adjusted to create exactly the dotted or dashed style you have in mind. If you want more of a dot, try entering a small number for the dash length and a slightly larger gap. For a classic dashed look, you can play with those numbers until it looks just right. Don't worry if it takes a few tweaks, they update live on your canvas so you'll see any changes immediately. And that's all there is to it, you've just created a dotted or dashed line in Figma. These kinds of lines are perfect for guiding users' attention, indicating cut points, or just adding variety to your layouts. If you ever want to adjust your dotted line later, just select it and revisit those stroke settings. I hope this quick tutorial helped you get comfortable making dotted lines in Figma. If you found this useful, please give the video a thumbs up, and feel free to drop any questions or tips in the comments below, I love hearing your ideas. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more helpful Figma tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.